Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the Allosaurus Rex Show. Da -da -da -da. Cool intro, if I had one. But I don't. So, here we go. Welcome to Telltale Tuesdays. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, so, we will be playing Telltale Games today. Woo! And the first one we'll be playing will be Back to the Future. Do -do 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 -do. Sound effects with my mouth. So, here we go. Um, this is the first time I'm playing this one, particularly. So, new game. Money to fly. Uh, before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new game? Yes, show goals. Mostly because I don't play Telltale games often, but I'm giving them a try because... Mostly because I bought a whole bunch Alright, I'm ready. Ooh, you're ready, Marty? Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm hey. standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 AM. And this is temporal experiment number one. Number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. Oh. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, okay. Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Okay. So the dog's going? What about us? You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. No, the dog! Okay. Yeah, that's a really Not me! The car! The car! Car. Okay. Um, Doc. Where are we going, Doc? Oh, we're gonna stand in front of the car? If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Whoa! Doc, language. Watch Doc. this, watch this. Doc. Doc, no! Where's the car? <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Where's the car? Ow! Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! Wow. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Then where are they? Where the hell are they? The hmm? appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You oh. see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! Okay, how do one we get One minute into, into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. in uh, zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you put your dog in a time machine out of a DeLorean? Yeah. The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Wow. Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. The... Look out! That was very anticlimactic. What am I looking out for? Uh, Doc? Huh. That's peculiar. Mm. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Um, Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Yeah. Oh, Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay. Here we go. Now, Doc's notebook. Whee! Okay. Uh, sealed container toolbox. Okay. How do I? What do I? How do I? Okay. Here we Notebook. go. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor. Mm. That's it. What the heck's a flux capacitor? Mm. My latest that? invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. Time travel. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Okay, Let's obviously. See. 
Mass equals I times Z and e Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. <sighs> Here comes the car. Bet you the car's coming. Or not. Uh, Doc? Uh oh. Great Scott! Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! No! What happened? What'd you do? The... <gasps> Doc! Doc! Oh, no. no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come what happened back! What to the dog? Doc! We're worried about Doc. Let's be serious. What happened to the dog? Doc! Oh. It's just a dream. Whoa. Marty, is everything science. okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Mm -hmm. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. What? Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Oh, man, you're late. I'm late for a very important date. So back to the future. The game. Alright, let's go. It's about time, episode one. It's about time I played Telltale Games. Well, that's what that's what it's about time for. Alright. So this game, as far as I know, um, is pretty much like the movie. So we're just probably just gonna be like um, taking place scenes like like the movie. We're gonna be making decisions. Um which I mean totally saw the movie. I know everything that's about to happen. I'm just kidding. I lied. Um, I, I, I've seen bits and pieces of the movie. Never, like, the whole thing. But I know, like, the general gist of it. Estate sale? May 4th, 1986. So. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... Uh -oh. Sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to- Now, son, I know you're upset, uh -huh. but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new wow. parking garage, and- Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? Wow. It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Yeah, they can. Hey, Marty! Wow. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Well, that hat looks like a buried treasure. I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Oh, what's sad? I'm sad for the dog. Uh, select items around the ladder for dangerous materials. Uh, dangerous one. Okay. Apparently a robot. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Oh. Sorry, Marty. Sorry, Maddie. Yeah, leave me alone, Biff. What, do you, what does it do? Oh, it feeds the dog. Oh, that's so sad. I miss Einstein. That is really sad. I'm controlling this with the... A fish tank. I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish, Doc fish is weird tasting decor. I kind of like Doc. Yeah. To figure the door. I better stick, stick around. around. Doc, I left, left something left important behind. And you wouldn't want, want to end up at Biff's place. place. <laughs> Biff's place? Is, is Biff taking everything? Is he gonna take Still the team? Your so Whoa. That's creepy. And it's also weird that you looked at your dad and smiled. Why Doc didn't take any of these with him? He did. He took one of them. There's one missing. 
Uh, George will clock. Let's talk to George. Can I talk to my dad? Hey, dad. Hey, dad. What's Biff doing? What's Biff doing, doing here? He was not for the docks. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. Even the Biff. Even Biff. Who's running, running the sale, sale anyway? anyway? My mouth is oh, weird. Me, son. You. you. Why? 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 Well, well, once it came, came apparent, apparent that the bank was going through the sale, sale, I volunteered, volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure the doc stuff would be treated with a lot of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! McFly. Mr. McFly! Hey, yo! Um... Do you think, think dreams, dreams can predict the future? Well, no, I don't, I don't go for that, that mystical stuff, stuff but, but I do think, think they can reflect how you no, feel about the future. But thanks. What did you dream? Oh, oh yes. just weird stuff, stuff. Yeah, about, about Doc. Well, well that's understandable, don't, don't you think? think? No. I, I guess, but, but I, I feel, feel like it was telling, telling me something. something. Yeah. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He, he talks, talks a big game, game son, but he's yeah. not so tough. I've, I've been dealing with him a long time. time. Believe, Believe me, I, I can't handle it. Yeah? So can I? Dude looks huge. I guess you can. Okay, okay son, I'll, I'll stay, stay out of your way. You, you know where to find, find me. Yeah. Um... I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. Yep, he's, he's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but the Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. He's a criminal. You got that wrong. You got that wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. He's not a but he's still a straight-up guy. He never run away from his problems. Hey, yo. Well, you know him better than I do, son. Yeah. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Ah, man. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Yeah. I'm gonna punch Griff in the mouth. All right, let's... I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. That was a dumb amplifier. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Pennies. Pennies on the dad. Amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Overdrive to 50. To 50. Primary driver to 50. Amplifier. It took me forever to repair the pennies. Pennies. Okay, what do you... I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Okay, what is it connected to? Okay, here's the model, I guess. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even yeah. works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? <gasps> that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Hey. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Give me... Uh... Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Uh, no. Just give me. That was the a cork. joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, nah, I think I'll hold on to it. What? Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Oh, God. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to. Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. God. Yes. Uh. Click the hint button. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. <laughs> okay. Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. Okay, so I'm going to get it back. That. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> oh, that smells like beef stew. Okay. Um. Uh, jukebox. Wait, I got one! Okay. What about the scientific, uh... I'm reading help. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Okay. 
Alright, Biff. Hey, Biff. Okay, um... I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of duck. There you go. Doc's dead! Wow. To get over it and move jerk. on. Jerk. What a jerk. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? There you go. Nothing. There you go. Well, then it's worthless, right? So give me the notebook. If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Give me the notebook. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Yeah. Well, uh, in a way. Yeah. Give me the I'll take my chances. Oh my god, Biff, give me the notebook. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. Because you're dumb. You calling me ignorant? Yes. I'll pay you for it. Oh my god. How much? Uh, Not enough. Why, you didn't even let me... I'll pay you for it. How much? You didn't even let me... Um, Not enough. You didn't even let me... <sighs> I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. Come on, what, is it set to explode yes, or something? Yes, it is. Whatever. Uh, Fine. Forget you. I'll take my chip. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Uh, never mind. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, electrical equipment. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod. Or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Hook Biff up to it. Alright. Oh. There's a guitar. Ooh. Marty's guitar. Alright. Hey, Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Oh. Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. There you go. Pick up my left click on the blinking inventory button. Alright, this obviously, I need mouth and keyboard. Alright, now that you own the memory, you can highlight it. It's been a while since I've played Telltale games, so. <clears throat> oh yeah. Let's hook up my guitar to the amplifier. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, good. Uh oh. A hundred? No, Biff. Don't do it. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Back yeah. on, Biff. You deserve that. Oh, shoot. Oh, he almost said a bad word. Don't open it. Bulletproof vest. Uh, Doc, where are you? Uh, it's Doc. Okay, go out. You gotta go outside, Marty. Yeah. I love how it's just the the, the noise. <gasps> it's the DeLorean. Maybe Einstein's in it. The DeLorean. Okay. Click on the DeLorean. Let's walk over to the DeLorean. Like, Doc? I think it's falling asleep. Alright, let's see if Doc's in this. It's probably the dog. I hope it's the dog, because that'd be cool. Open, open the door. Whoa. What is it, on fire or something? Well, yeah, it's hot. Hey! Einstein! It's the Where dog. Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Obviously not. Oh, there's a shoe in there. Get the shoe. Whoa. Okay, so this is the shield eyes from the light. Disconnect the capacitor drive. Shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Yeah, just put it in your pocket. There you go. Marty? Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Yeah. Automatic is. retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. 
As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. Yeah. And despite my elaborate precautions, there's yeah, always yes. the possibility that I can land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or now. Uh, well, maybe later. Like, <laughs> he's in trouble. Yeah, he is. Come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? <laughs> I'm relying on you to I do don't it know. again. Let's Please, see. take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Let's go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark last time departed. But it's Good not on. it's not this Right, no. right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh oh jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh great. How am I supposed to find him now? Well, maybe <laughs> Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Okay, maybe the shoe can tell you. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, hey. How about his notebook? Maybe his notebook will tell me. His item. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Okay. Well, Marty, you're being very annoying. Mysterious shoe. Nah. Maybe I maybe Einstein knows. If you're unsure but you're gonna click the gold button. No, I don't wanna Uh exactly This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. Okay. And by wrong hands I mostly mean bit. There you go. Ooh, I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. Wow. That was, um... Uh... Marty? Ah! Okay. Marty? This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Okay. So th that's what you need. Alright, let's get back into the DeLorean. Maybe there's more clues inside the DeLorean. Einstein's just sitting out in the car. Okay, so maybe... Yeah. Einstein. Let's go to what Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Yeah. Oh, just sit back down. Alright, how about this? We'll see if he responds to the shoe. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Sniff it. Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Ah, great Scott! He's onto a shoe. He just held out a shoe in front of his face. Oh, good thing the skateboard. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, but you still gotta figure out what. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Buzzer. He... Who's that? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I okay. suspected. Hooligan! Hooligan! Get along now! Scat! Those eyebrows are like... I'm no hooligan! I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a... A teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young yeah, man. You look Aren't like you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between eight and eight thirty in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Wow, uh, that's very, yeah? very All specific. All skateboarders are hooligans. Ah, hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Oh, okay. Um. State your business, child. Child. You're making me miss Murph. Man. See, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Uh, I got something. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. How can you see? You probably can't see from this far back. Shoe. Show it to Edna. A shoe? Wow, now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Uh -oh. Stay there! Oh, and it's, it's probably her shoe. That's a... Uh, sneaky. Oh, 
And there's the other miss. There's the other shoe. <gasps> hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, weird lady. Oh, let's go, Einstein. Leave that creature outside. The creature. He's Sorry, not a Einstein. creature. Well, uh, well, he's a dog. But hey, that's not night. <laughs> That's a very well trained dog. Me? You want you wanna put some locks on that door? Well, took you long enough. What do you mean took me? I was downstairs. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. Ages. And you can put it down next to the other one. Jeez, oh, look at that creepy mm, smile. Much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. Yo, yeah, no, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But I'm lady, I want sorry tea. Sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Wow. She's got really young. You uh, have a seat, Sonny. Jeez, this lady won't let me finish talking. She also didn't even turn on the thing. That's hey, a lot of you kids! Put out those cigarettes! It's a creepy old lady. Don't touch those! Okay. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Doesn't look like work. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Jam? I don't even have jam on my hands. This is the lady. Um, and, uh, candy. Can I have some candy? The candy looks older than I am. Wow, okay, that's mean, Marty. Man, she keeps it hot in here. Well, it's because you... That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Wait, pretty sure that's the radiator. You didn't even turn on the kettle. Did she really turn on the- I don't think so. No, I don't want candy. Um, cat bowls! Look at the cat- Oh, where'd that come from? That was very- Pictures. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? <laughs> uh, nothing. Yeah, there you go. Pictures. Shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Well, we gotta ask Edna. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. It's probably because you didn't turn it on. Alright. So, obviously, I need to speak with uh, her. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Mm, kissy, kissy! Yes. <laughs> that's what they're doing. Alright, um... Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? Yeah, that shoe over there. The one I brought you. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. Well, but... I just want to know. Oh, fine, let me think about it. Oh, uh, yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with uh, a, a dog. The oh, dog? Was it? Yeah, oh, probably. yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. When? Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. I need, I need a date, lady. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Lady, I need a date. <sighs> okay. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink easiest. gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town. Oh, yeah. Honest citizens quaked in their beds. The gangsters. Okay. So I where need was a it? Date. That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. I need a that date. That was ages <laughs> ago. Oh, my God. You're looking for bootleg <laughs> hooch. No, I, I'm oh, just yeah. curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt 
Danny. Whoa, yeah, language. Your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history, Miss Strickland. Oh, I need to know. Video store. Oh my God. Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting okay. videotape rental store squats today. Okay. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. So... The following year, as I recall. Okay. <sighs> What's with all these let's, Yeah, let's ask her about the This paper. is my personal archive. I've go. got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Wow. Get out. Every single issue from 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, oh. you'll find it in my stacks. Perfect. Can you tell me? I guess somewhere in these stacks, there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. Wow. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Awesome. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously, the day after the speakeasy burned down. Oh my god. This lady. Alright. <laughs> we'll come back to this um, next time. Um, so, thanks for watching. And if you have any more recommendations for Telltale Tuesdays, uh, be sure to leave a comment below. Uh, until then, see you next time. Bye.